I'm David Barrett, Executive Director for Network for Animals, and I want to give you an update on how we are coping in the corona crisis to give millions of animals around the world help when they so desperately need it. As the corona crisis tightened its grip, governments around the world rushed into lockdown, leaving millions of animals starving and without food. We managed to beat the lockdown and provide food and emergency medical care to 12 projects in countries around the world where we work. One meter, one meter. As you can see, no one is practicing social distancing. One of the biggest challenges we faced was simply getting to the animals. We were locked down like everybody else. So we managed in every case to persuade them to allow us to continue our work even in the most stringent lockdowns and in truly scary situations where hungry people besiege us as much as hungry dogs. In Greece, in an industrial area near Athens, the dogs faced immediate starvation because all the factories closed. We had to get there under the most trying circumstances, but we managed it and we fed the dogs. In Thailand, we support the Baan Urak shelter, which is a long way from anywhere. It was a truly challenging task to make sure they had enough food. We've been fighting for street dogs in a remote area of Turkey for four years. The situation is beyond appalling. The dogs survive by eating diseased chicken carcasses or, sadly, cannibalism. We managed to get five months supply of dog food stockpiled in the area for up to 10,000 dogs that need it. We believe that every animal life matters and in Jordan, at a shelter we support there, the COVID crisis made it almost impossible to get a specialized metal plate for a dog to have an emergency operation. We managed, we found one in England and we got it to Jordan. The operation was a success. Good girl. We save animals one animal at a time. One of the grimmest and most dangerous places we work are the townships around Cape Town in South Africa. Cape Town has become the crime capital of South Africa. One of the most important battles we won was to allow spay and neutering during the lockdown. If we hadn't done that, all of those puppies would have had short and horrible lives followed by nasty deaths. Our supporters gave us the ability to fight the authorities and win. One of Network for Animals' major campaigns is to rescue donkeys from the Chinese donkey skin trade, which is seeing them wiped out at such a rate that they could soon be extinct in Africa. We rescued 250 donkeys who live at the Karoo Donkey Sanctuary. We managed, in the nick of time, to get two truckloads of hay for the donkeys that will last them for the next couple of months. We also hope to move them to another place which will have better grazing and be closer to food suppliers. Perhaps the most important thing that I'd like to say to you today is to say thank you. Because of your donations, we've managed to more than double our aid to animals during this crisis. We've never faced a challenge like this we are inundated with pleas for help every single day. Animals around the world are in an unprecedented need at the moment. We get down on the ground where the animals need us most. And I want to tell you, without us, countless animals would suffer horrible, horrible deaths. Please, if you possibly can, donate to Network for Animals today. I promise you, the money will go to look after animals who desperately need it.